The midframe also has the first ever Apple vapor chamber attached to it. This vapor chamber sits on top of the new A19 processor and keeps it cool so you can scroll through fire memes more efficiently. If the chip overheats, it will throttle performance. Peeling back the graphite layer reveals that we still can't access the vapor chamber without pulling off the battery first. The vapor chamber appears to be very much a permanent part of that midframe though. Android users have been familiar with these things for the past nine years. Samsung's had one in their phone since the Galaxy S7 back in 2016. But for the Apple users just joining the party, the way a vapor chamber works is that a small drop of water gets inserted inside the chamber and sealed up at the factory. You can see the little droplets of liquid still inside the chamber. Then, as the processor heats up that drop of liquid, it evaporates, taking a lot of the heat energy at the hot end of the vapor chamber, traveling to the other side, condensing back into liquid, dispersing its heat, and gets ready to repeat the process. 